Good afternoon all, welcome back to the channel and apologies for a bit of a delayed uh, show. Um, had a lot of family work commitments in recent weeks and that's likely to continue for a while as yet. However, I uh, haven't forgotten my loyal subscribers and those new listeners, welcome. I uh, wanted to bring you some content this weekend. So first of all, I'm going to give you a hobby update today and then I'm hoping to do an in-depth review of a game I received for review from Snafu, uh, 12 Hours at Malem by Ivan Pratt. I um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to set that up this evening. Having played solo, I want to play it with some of the guys at the club and see how it operates in a two-player game. So more on that to come uh, further in the next few days. Um, what I wanted to do is just give you a hobby update, first of all on a couple of new arrivals and secondly uh, just to show you how things are progressing with my Hastings homebrew. Um, first of all new arrivals this week, uh, I mentioned a company called The Little Corporal um, a couple of shows ago. I just wanted to show you a publication I received today from them. Um, published by Serigo Editions in France. This is uh, Frederick Bay, uh, who I believe is also a games writer, and I'm sure I've got some of his games here somewhere. Uh, this is Issos and Guagamela, uh, Alexander's Defeats and Dethrones Darius the uh, Third. So this is actually a book. Um, interesting subject, as I'm a big Alexander fan. And some of the artwork is absolutely gorgeous, as you can see in there. Uh, there are also some really nice maps, simple maps. Um, so I feel some good uh, scenarios coming on uh, for war games purposes from, from the book. As I say, some, some really lovely illustrations. So a lovely little book that you can buy through the little corporal.co.uk. Secondly, uh, as I'm sure has been happening with a number of people's uh, mailboxes this week, a bigger package dropped. Um, the latest offering from Two Fat Lardies and the Ricewitz Stable. Um, what a cowboy. Um, so this is um, a rebrand from What a Tanker, uh, the latest incarnation, What a Cowboy. Um, I've got to say the book that John Savage and uh, Richard and the team have put together is absolutely beautiful. Um, some lovely artwork, again, um, really nicely set out. Uh, there, there's a number of reviews already on YouTube talking about the game and, and the book, um, so I'm not going to dwell on that. Um, but if it's Westerns is something you're interested in, um, this is certainly well worth investigating, um, I believe. The PDF of this will be available from Monday the 24th, um, so that is another option for those that don't want the hardback edition. Alongside that, you receive the cards, um, which are the Desperado uh, action cards. Um, I opted not to have the Bonanza tokens, but that's mainly because either I'll use my own or because I like some of the other offerings that uh, war bases are going to have available from next week. So that's a couple of new arrivals. Um, I'm just going to finish off by showing you how the figures are coming along for the Hastings homebrew. So here we are on my painting desk. Um, and this is just one of the bases that are at the initial point of having the battleground or battlefield brown uh, from Army Painter fitted to the base. Um, you can see I've got to paint the buildings there as well. But these are some of the bases that are just about completed now. So these are some of the uh, Norman uh, cavalry. Um, so you can see there we've got a mixture of grasses, um, tufts going on there. Uh, and what I've tried to do um, is actually use some dabbles of wash um on top of this so i've done a very light dry brush um first of all and then i've darkened it down by using a bit of soft tone brown in dabs over the bases um 
to dampen down the effect of the grass. Um, so you can see some have got a little bit more on than others. Um, so I scattered the grass on in uh, with dabs of PVA and I've then used, once that's dried, the soft tone wash to just try and tone that down a little bit because I'm conscious Hastings was forward in October in what probably was quite a muddy field. Um, it would have been quite boggy, marshy in areas with that we do know. Um, and then the tufts just to sort of break that up a, a little bit more. But quite pleased with the initial batch. Um, these ones you'll see are at the another stage. So these have had the grass and also the wash, but not the tufts. Whereas these ones have already had the tufts treatment. Um, and they're looking pretty good. What I intend to do is paint the edges of the bases. And then um, I'm going to break them up into their respective wings with a, a color identifier on the back of the bases, uh, just so it's easy when they're playing on the War Games table. So they're the ones that I've done so far. Um, there is a lot still to do, but just to give you a bit of an update. And in preparation for What a Cowboy, um, I continue to paint these little chaps. Uh, my 28 mil uh, black sheep miniatures, sort of Mexicans and uh, bank robbers. Looking forward to getting these on the table. Quite enjoying painting these, I must admit. Um, in, enjoying doing those. So uh, once I've done those, I'll probably do some uh, equivalent from the uh, Great Escape Games Gunfighters box that I've got. Um, just to sort of add some some nice fellas uh, to my Western games because at the moment these are all pretty much baddies. Um, but uh, again, I'll continue to paint those. Uh, block colours are virtually all done. Um, I've already washed the hats, but not the rest of the figures at the moment. But there you go. That's the painting desk. Uh, work in progress with the Hastings homebrew. Still sort of giving some thoughts to rules and things and ideas. Um, thank you for those who commented to give me some really good ideas there as well. And uh, look forward to seeing you again very soon with another video. Take care. Have a great weekend.